Salutations, uh, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in Moscow on Leontievsky Lane. Behind me is the plaque to Konstantin Stanislavski. Um, his uh, birth surname was actually Alexeyev. He came from a very affluent family and he was determined to tread the boards. But they opposed him being an actor, it was not quite respectable. So that's why he assumed that stage name, so his family wouldn't be able to find out what he was doing. So he was an actor the last few years of Tsarism. Um, and uh, then uh, he helped to found the Moscow Art Theatre, which is not far away. That um, it now goes by the name the Chekhov Theatre, and Chekhov was a was a good friend of his, though he died considerably before um, before Stanislavski. Anyway, then the October Revolution came. The theatre was was initially shut. Um, the Bolsheviks were a bit suspicious of it. They felt it was too luxurious and too associated with the bourgeois capitalist system or even Tsarism. Um, but uh, Stanislavski, he quickly fell in with the Bolsheviks and began to espouse communism. Questionable whether whether he really believed that, and uh, he persuaded Lenin to let him reopen the theatre. Although they soon lost their state subsidies, but Lenin came even to see some of their performances. Um, and later, Stanislavski he got along well with um, Stalin, and he. Um, had some difficulty because all theatre or all art was supposed to be agit prop, agitation propaganda, that is to say disseminating the communist message. So Stanislavski had to do that. And then in the 30s people were supposed to triple production. Well that went for the theatre too, which meant there was going to be a matinee every day, as well as an afternoon performance and an evening one, even if the theatre was almost empty. So. Um, Stanislavski, he wrote his autobiography, My Life and Art, but what he's best known for um, is uh, the, the, the method, or the system as he called it in inverted commas, about um, how to become an actor, how to totally immerse oneself in a role, and to live that role, not to break character and things like that. So it's very innovative, and um, method acting is very popular in the United States, not so much on this side of, of the Atlantic. Anyway, this is where he lived from the 1920s till his death in 1938 on Leontievsky Lane. When I was a schoolboy, I started, well, I didn't start, I performed in a play entitled The Critic about Stanislavski in the Moscow Art Theatre. And uh, it was entitled The Critic as there was only one theatre critic in the Soviet Union who counted at the time, and that was Comrade Stalin because uh, obviously uh, theatre had to be furthering the purposes of, of communism, had to be socialist, realist art. Uh, anyway, unfortunately it's not open to the public here, but that's a little something to remind yourself of, of Stanislavski, especially if you're on the way to see his show. The Moscow Art Theatre is now housed in an original building, a different building from the original one. That's all for the moment.